Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with fresh raspberry sauce. That's right, it's pronounced raspberry, not raspberry. And you know what a stickler I am for pronouncing things correctly. In fact, I was just discussing that this morning over a cup of espresso. But anyway, I promised to show you how to make this during our chocolate decadence video. So that's what we're about to do. And to get started, of course, we're going to need a whole bunch of fresh raspberries. So into a colander, I'm going to dump four half pints of fresh raspberries. Okay, by weight, that's a pound and a half. And can you use frozen raspberries for this? Yes, of course. You just won't be making a fresh raspberry sauce, which in my opinion tastes better. But really, that's up to you. You are the Bruce Lee of your raspberry coulis, which is the fancy French term for what we're making. And what we'll do before we start is give these a quick rinse in some cold water. And I normally don't show this kind of a step, but my sink was nice and clean, so I figured, what the heck? So we'll give those a rinse, and then we will let those drain pretty well. And I said pretty well because it's okay if there's a little bit of water on those. In fact, we're actually going to add a little more. So we're going to transfer our berries into a saucepan. And then to that, we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice. Just a small squeeze, a couple teaspoons. That little bit of acidity is really going to brighten up that berry flavor. And then to balance that and the natural tartness of the berries, we're also going to add a little bit of white sugar. And it's really not that much, but we do need a little bit here. And then depending on what kind of texture you're going for with this sauce, you may or may not want to add a little splash of water. I did, because I was going to serve this with that really rich chocolate cake, and I did not want my sauce too thick. So that's going to depend, and I'm going to discuss that in detail on the blog post. So a little bit of water, possibly, and believe it or not, that's it. So we'll head over to the stove, and we'll place that on medium heat, and we'll wait for that to come up to temperature. And the whole key here is not overcooking this sauce. We don't want it to boil. We don't want it to reduce. All we want to do is introduce enough heat so that those raspberries give up their liquid and kind of break down, but don't lose that fresh taste. And we'll just stay right here observing because this is only going to take a couple minutes. And as that mixture heats through, that sugar's going to dissolve. Those berries are going to start to break down. So right here, they're getting very close. So we keep watching, we keep stirring. And about 30 seconds later, it looked like this. Like I said, we're just heating this to mostly dissolve the sugar. And so those berries give up their amazing juices. So this is looking perfect right here. You can see it's still pretty chunky. All right, so pay attention, don't walk away. That's only gonna take a couple minutes. And at this point, your fresh raspberry sauce is done, except we have to do two things. We have to strain this and chill it. So we're gonna pass that through a fine mesh strainer, and we'll use a spoon or a spatula or a ladle, like I am here, to press that stuff through the screen. And you wanna keep doing that until you're basically just left with seeds. I've said it before and I'll say it again. People that serve raspberry sauces without straining out the seeds should be arrested and thrown in jail. And I mean that literally. What are they thinking? And of course, whenever you're doing something like this, don't forget to scrape off the bottom of the screen. That's where the best and thickest stuff's gonna be stuck. So we will pass that sauce through. We will scrape off the bottom of our strainer. And at that point, you should be looking at one of the most gorgeous fruit sauces ever. And you can see the texture I went for here. Like I said, because I was serving this with a chocolate decadence, I didn't want anything too heavy. And of course, like all fruit sauces, this is gonna thicken up a little more as it cools. And by the way, you do not need to skim off that foam. Okay, a few bubbles here and there kind of conveys that this is a freshly made sauce. In fact, there's a lot of chefs that actually use molecular gastronomy tricks to make their sauces look like this. And I'm not sure exactly how they do it. Probably something to do with the molecules. But anyway, the point is that foam is fine. Just leave it. And at this point, all we need to do is let this cool down to room temperature, then just wrap it up and refrigerate till needed. You really do want to serve this cold to get the full effect. Of course, having said that, I did have to taste this. This was just at room temperature, but it was still spectacular. Just such an incredible pure raspberry flavor. This stuff is just great with anyone or anything. But anyway, that's it, fresh raspberry sauce. Whether you're gonna serve it to your Valentine on something homemade like our chocolate decadence, or just something nice from the store like cheesecake or ice cream, I think we all can agree that serving it with this gorgeous and easy to make sauce will significantly increase your chances of getting lots of compliments, all right? So I really do hope you give it a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.